Well, let's say you don't like how the media is covering President Trump. Uh, have you ever considered uh, making a billboard about it? Well, this guy did. Kyle Courtney is a Texas businessman. He's a big supporter of the president. He made this billboard in response to something he saw. Kyle, good to have you. Thanks for coming. Neil, thank you very much for having me. I'm a big fan. Uh, well, it's very good to have you. What happened? What got you to do this? Neil, I, like I said, um, kind of on the press release that went along with the billboard, I've been watching... ABC News since I was a little kid. Uh, that was the only channel on TV. Um, my parents watched it. It's just what we did when we ate dinner. That's what was on. And um, we, you know, they were part of the family. I believed what they said. They used to be news. They used to be journalists. And um, unfortunately, oh God, 18 years ago, that started to change. And it started to look like a little bit of something else was going on and then in the last three or four years it started to look like propaganda and and it, it hurt those people were part of my family and um i i don't have somewhere to go to news anymore um so we're, we're through that's uh it's as simple as that but what is it particularly about ABC that got your goat? I mean, you could make an argument that it's part of the mainstream media, whether you like that or not. They all kind of, you know, sing from the same choir book. You're exactly right, and I don't watch them either. Um, I, I, I singled out ABC News because they were my friends. They were the people I believed in. I, don't, I did not watch CNN, NBC. Um, but was there a tipping point, Kyle? What got you? Uh, obviously, to do something like this and put a billboard, I mean, they're not cheap to do. To, it, 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 was it the, the, the President Trump coverage, the Russian collusion well, uh, coverage? What? It started when they started telling us to hate George Bush. And I didn't hate George Bush. And they, it started back then, but I continued to watch. And I, you know, I just didn't turn the channel. Um, I'm the kind of guy that reads the newspaper every day, and I watch the news. I want to be an informed citizen. I think as an American, as a, just a human being, you need to be informed. So so I watched. And, well, when uh, did ABC, though, say, Carl, that they hate George Bush? Was it just in the criticism of him, or was it just that uh, you got tired of, of, of well, the Well, it was a day-to-day day, day -day thing, and it almost looked systematic to me. Um, and then they handed us Barack Obama on a silver platter. And I don't have anything against Barack Obama. I believe in the two-party system, in the in the proper change of of power in our country. But it went from George Bush was the Antichrist, and Barack Obama was the savior, and that's the way they portrayed it. Night after night, that's how they handed it to us. But I kept watching. And then when they started this uh, Trump is a Russian thing, it, it was too much for me. It what was kind of reaction have you gotten to the billboard? Unbelievable reaction. It has just been overwhelmingly supportive. Um, has the ABC affiliate or anyone at ABC Network uh, called you or talked to you? They have email? not. They have not. They've, they have not. Um, I have probably gotten 40 or 50 different requests interview requests from different media sources um and in my my email is blown up and my i'm not a facebook guy but my what facebook page i do have is off the charts my daughter is handling that for me <laughs> it's just uh, she's handling it, the, the social media stuff it, you know she's good at it i'm 58 <laughs> years old and i I'm not that social uh, in, on the media side. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it's but, wild. But, I mean, it shows what an individual can do on his or her own part of, you know, to play a role and just let, let their grief and angst be known. Uh, Kyle Courtney, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. All right. In the meantime, speaking of things that media obsesses on, uh, how, how, how so not necessarily this story that the former Attorney General Loretta Lynch might have tried to interfere with this Clinton email investigation? We know that to be fact, and now the Senate Judiciary Committee is demanding answers. So I'm waiting for, obviously, a lot of coverage of this tomorrow. A lot, really, after this.